field. Makes for whiteout conditions. Emergency alert, the cryptocurrency market is collapsing. This is not a test. As Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing has been warning, the cryptocurrency market has broke key support levels and is continuing to flush as the interest rates continue to rise. Uh, bond yields continue to skyrocket 10 year, 20 and 30 year. Oh, the 10 year highs, the cryptocurrency market in the tech sector is under siege and there's blood in the streets. Liquidation prices are being tripped, which feedbacks on itself and commences more selling. And the more selling and the more blood in the streets, the more liquidated orders get hit. Uh, the more margin gets taken out of the market and that uh, makes more panic. The more panic makes more sellers. The more sellers create the price to catastrophically collapse more. And we're going down, ladies and gentlemen. We're going down and we're going down hard. And if you don't listen to Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing, where you like, subscribe, and share for a one-of-a-kind, company-made, probability-based, trading alert, technical analysis, company philosophy as we're a technical trading and a probability based uh company you'd have been out of this market uh crash and manipulation and out of the rest of it because we're 69.69 steps out of the competition as we diagnose snip out and detect and help you overt and overt the criminal gangsters and the market manipulators and the overters and overters right and uh that's why you need to become members of jabroni killers as soon as this youtube that's taken forever it's been about three weeks now almost and they still have not given me my YouTube partnership uh, perk. I'll check again today, but we're still waiting, right? And you can see the coins have flushed. And right now, uh, you're in between support and resistance zones now. So this is where the market can go either way and where you stay on the sidelines until you until you hit a support zone, right? Ah, uh, these fucking heated seats. I turn that shit off. It's not that cold today on this late winter day, right? As we approach 2,000 subscribers, it's 31 degrees and sunny with a gusty southwest wind creating a lot of blowing and drifting snow right now. But that'll be shut off here in about two hours, about 10 o'clock local time as the temp gets into the mid-30s, caps the snow and starts to melt it as we rise into the 40s today. And it'll cut the blowing and drifting off as the snow starts to melt today and gets wiped out tomorrow with a bunch of rain as a major winter storm targets central and northern minnesota wisconsin michigan right finally one of them pulled off to the north as the uh, seasons begin to change and the storm track has shifted to the midwest now right but you can see we're in the middle of the support and resistance 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 this is where we thought we would pump from the blue arrow and this is where we had a sell zone back before this price started falling when the price was in here we said this thing's gonna flush and flush hard but this is where a buy opportunity was. When it came down here, we said it ain't ready yet. It's got to come down and touch. Then you could have made a run up in a safe probability-based trade off of this support up to here, right? And that's what you would have did. I didn't, I didn't think it would come up, but they do overshoot a lot of times a little bit. And this did overshoot. And once it came up here, we said it's not going to go much farther before it comes down here. And then that would be where it's got to hold and pump to get past here. And all it did was make a double top slightly lower than this top, which is a classic uh, reversal, topping reversal pattern. And then he came back down to the orange ring, held it for a second, broke below it, and then had very little resistance uh, on the blue ring. And it just flushed right down by that. And now we're probably gonna come here at least. And then you could have a little rally back to back test this, and then a major flush. Or when you come here, you just kind of straddle it for a brief uh, resistance on its way through, then it breaks it, because this is where you're coming back down to now. 32,500, then you could trade back from here. You could trade back up into here, the top part of this white support box, because then you end up down here at 29,300 uh, ish, right? That's what I think you got going on in the Bitcoin, right? Because these coins are getting hammered, and you people are getting fleece heisted and chisted to an extreme degree right now. If any time in the last week you were in and out of these fucking coins, it's very risky, and to me, wouldn't have been worth to jump into any of these the last seven or eight days because you could see where this was going. And all you were doing would be paying taxes and fees uh, in a stressful trade with very little reward and a very high risk, right? And as a probability-based trader, Vincenzo, 
the, the, the reward and the probabilities were too stacked in the loser's camp on that after taxes and fees. So we just sat here and continued to listen to the noise, a few of the shysters in the comment section, and then the rest of the YouTube sphere pumping and uh, uh, hoping that the price would pump. But you can see now the Bitcoin has crossed this blue ring, right? And we said, if you don't get a bounce off of the blue ring, if you cross it, you're coming down immediately, which wasn't that far. It's only about 6% from there to here, right? But then if you can't hold that and the rest of the market, the way it looked, this is your most um, logical spot where you're going to come down to next is right over here at the orange, top of the orange support zone in between uh, the next ring as the last line of defense or aka get my shit together to the shit house right it's your last line of defense so that's your next possible bounce but this is a big fall between there and here it's like a 40 percent fall but then you could get a nice bounce and this is a swing trade alert out of the competition this would be your next swing trade alert right remember where you heard this third on the doge champion the tens of gold crypto investing it's telling you start paying attention after you have this huge flush of 37.47 percent that sets the stage for your next swing trade if you're if you're a dogecoin guy you buy it on the top part of the support box if it holds it right when you're monitoring it as it comes down if you think it's going to hold it and then you watch as it reacts to it and look at your indicators come on and then if there's if, if it looks like it's going to hold this is your next swing trade zone you buy it come on you buy it from the bottom part of this support box if it ever hits and then you buy it and run it all the way back up to the former underneath support, which is now going to be overhead resistance in that falling channel on that uh, light blue line that, that you're on. And that would be a 54.69% uh, gain from the bottom part of this, the top part of this orange box. This would be your buy zone right there, right on there. And then you sell it up here when you come back to that, right? That's a swing trade alert for you. And Vincenzo, again, just like we did XRP and XLM, we're going to be out ahead of the competition. And you'll see the YouTube sphere start to come around as there's your next flush. And then you swing trade it to back test this. And then usually uh, it gets rejected to confirm the breakdown. And that's where I would sell, right? And that's a nice 50%, 54% gain. So Vincenzo, and this is what you get if you join members of Jabroni Pillars. As soon as YouTube gives us that, uh, I set you up and give you the why out ahead of the what, uh, right? And I give, you, I, I, I give you the foresight to be able to see what's gonna happen and then the wait for it to happen and then the capitalize and the market panic. Because here, all this is all this is panic selling. All the people that loaded up back here, they're gonna panic sell to another support zone. And that's where Vincenzo's probability-based traders sit. And we wait and then we buy the support on the panic and then we sell the rally, right? Anywhere after you buy it up 10, 20%, you don't have to sell it all the way up because it gets chopped, right? But you sell into the new rally, and then after it's up 50%, these same guys that bought here and sold here to us, we sell it back to them here, and then it flushes down to the next support zone at the blue ring, and then we buy it back to them there, right? So that's what I do at Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, and that's why this company's really been so successful, and it's really caught the attention to a lot of the traders here, and the swing traders, the long-term hodlers, because we give you long-term holding spots that are great spots to pick up some, even if it's an overall down or up trending market. If you're a long-term holder, we try to get you great buy opportunities, even on a bull run. Uh, you buy the you buy the the brief sell-off zones, right? And that's what we give you at Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. The same thing on XLM. Now you're gonna know you don't get into this fucking coin until it either breaks a critical overhead resistance and then confirms a breakout of it or you come all the way down here because this next ring to ring is a big flush this would be your next buy zone on a flush on xlm you don't touch this point if it fails to hold this local bottom you don't touch this coin until it gets here unless you're a real gambler and trying to squeeze out a five minute run in an overall disastrous market this would be your next swing trade and you say well vincenzo where would you swing trade that to? Well, hey, I, I appreciate the question. It's very simple. You let it flush to the next ring, and you can go back and look at these rings, and they've been very success, very successful. You buy this ring down here, and then you sell right there. That's your sell zone, right? Right up there. You buy here on a swing trade after a flush, 
it, it, that doesn't mean that on a, both of these coins it doesn't mean the plus is happening today tomorrow or next week but these are your next major moves right not little five ten percent interday pumps but these are your next major moves you buy that arrow you buy the green arrow down there right these are three phenomenal swing trades i'm giving you out of the move even happening to the downside right i'm just giving you I, i'm just showing you how to trade this market ah oh, that's an ugly arrow that's not the beautiful arrow we're looking for we want these beautiful arrows that's a junk arrow ah oh, jeez fuck oh. right here fucking hard is this you see me my arrow right there and then there's your cell zone right so that's what's going on with this market and those are three great things three great potential future swing trades that i'm giving you to look at before the price of those coins have even crossed any significant uh support zones down right i'm just giving you that on the plus where you should start fishing for it and and remember where you heard that first as soon as it becomes apparent on what's going on in the market because we have synoptically uh blended together a phenomenal forecast in order to uh well got a little bit of ice out here in order to figure out where this market's going and we're going to continue to fleece heist and shist uh the whales and the market manipulator as you can see this is the end of the snow flowing and drifting today but you can see a little bit of wind on rising temperatures with heavy snowfall still on the ground in central no you get local ground blizzards as you can see you just have open fields all around with a beautiful sunrise so today with a southwest wind gust into 20 and still below freezing at 29 the snow has not gained any of its uh, melting structure and hence it is still powdery so it can blow and drift all over the fucking place right which is cool i like it but it's all coming to an end today as by 8 p.m tonight there will be significantly less snow on the ground as uh most of it melts off tomorrow out of a rainstorm i give you more updates i'm only working a short day today and then i'll give you some beautiful updates during the michigan game and after this afternoon peace and love